Ashiok is a tough one to cover because while we really don't know much about them, where they came from, or how they gained their abilities to manipulate the deepest nightmares of their targets, but regardless of reason, Ashiok came to Theros with the intent to exploit the beliefs of the Therans and feed on the fear that grew from their doubt. And from this, Ashiok was able to create a myriad of problems, like create a new god of cities that had to be put down by Ifara, or after some collaboration with Phoenix, the god of fear, to become invisible so they could gather power to put a massive sleep spell over the Therans and harvest their nightmares forever. Thankfully, Ashiok was stopped by Dak Faden and Ravos, but this victory was short-lived as Ashiok was brought to Ravnica for War of the Spark. Doing what? We really don't know. Ashiok would promptly return to Theros and would set their sights on a at the time dead Elspeth Tyrell. And whilst prowling her nightmares, Ashiok would learn of the Phyrexians, and intrigued, they immediately set out to learn more, and even managed to test their abilities on Elish. Norn. As it turns out, Phyrexians do dream. Nonetheless, it would appear Ashiok has found a new Planeswalker to torment in Elspeth, and while I'm sure that is a wonderful choice for a variety of options, out of all the walkers you could choose, I don't know why Ashiok would choose the one that could wipe out an entire army with one swing of a sword. Gotta say, bold choice. Thank you so much for watching, and may your revels never end.